very good morning and prem namaste to each and every one tuned to South Africa's finest Hindu magazine show, Sadhna on S3. I am Alisha Gaya Prasad, bringing to you the best of variety Hinduism has to offer, Mzanzi style. Today we travel to Nunoti to witness a Shirdi Sai Baba Murthy installation ceremony while talking to renowned global humanitarian Mohanji and also visit an awe-inspiring project about the shared struggle history of India and South Africa by the Indian Consulate in Durban. Seva can be identified by two basic characteristics, compassion and a willingness to sacrifice. Ever since the year 2000, when Satya Sai Baba first introduced Grama Seva, it has been growing in strength year after year. Today, we take a look at the Seva program at the Utukela district of KwaZulu Natal, performed in the same tradition. Om Jai Jagadish Hare, Swami Satya Sai Hare. Bhakta Jana Samrakshaka Bhakta Jana Samrakshaka Our Master, Spiritual Master Bhagwan Sri Sati Sai Baba is the ultimate exemplar in terms of leading by example and I think, uh, you know, his famous dictum of love all, serve all and help ever, hurt never is what we practice in our lives, you know and uh, selfless service is the most important thing helping those in need with no recognition or anything linked to it. Seva is a huge uh, part of our organization and Swami's teachings is that the future leaders of the country are the young adults and uh, to build good leaders we have to uh, embark in these projects so that we empower young adults to become future leaders. Jai Bolo Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba Ji Ki Jai Seva actually plays a very integral part in the Sri Satisai organization because Swami has said that Seva is most important to him. Uh, people must rather serve uh, and that plays a very, very important role in the organization. So by carrying out Swami's uh, work, we are undertaking this Seva. So actually we as devotees, should uh, the recipient should not be thanking us we should be thanking them because they are giving us this opportunity to serve them had it not been for them our work in the organization ceases you know the purpose of the organization uh, as bhagavan has mentioned is that it's it's for us for me as an individual and for everyone else that's a devotee to look within and to transform i think that is the key purpose of the organization is to go within and to seek the divinity that's present present in each and every one of us so i would say that you know by serving and bhagavan has mentioned on many occasions that when you're serving others you're serving the god in that person you know so this is very important so the that's one aspect of it and i think the the humility and the love aspect is the most important thing as well so for me personally it's the amazing feeling that you get by serving those in need there's something that that's unexplainable there's some feeling that you get by helping those and going out to communities and helping them uh, especially the neediest of needies you know to put a plate of food uh, you know we've assisted so many people in the past where we put a plate of food in front of them some of them never ate for weeks or months you know and we've come through and we've assisted so for me personally it just by you know undertaking that seva is the greatest thing that we can do here. <laughs> Today we undertook a massive grammar seva where um, the entire country um, comprising of 13 regions across the country uh, from far as Johannesburg to KwaZulu-Natal 
came together to serve the local community of uh, the Bergville and the school? A lot of planning went uh, underwent uh, throughout this process and we had each region host as a workstation where we provided uh, grocery hampers, hygiene packs, a hot meal distribution seva, uh, some clothing as well, uh, goodie bags for the kids, uh, fruit hampers, um, as well as juice and refreshments for the day. Lots of challenges in this area. As you can see, the school, the roof is blown off, but they still managed to teach 650 children in the school, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so today we decided to do a massive grammar server with all the items that was collected and all the funds that was uh, collected, generated. For us, this was just the start. Um, I think devotees themselves, you know, especially with the COVID period that we've just un under undergone for the last two years, everyone just got together and there was such an excitement and a buzz for devotees coming together. Uh, so this project is a sustainable project which we intend undertaking again and wherever there's a need we will definitely undertake this project. So we have many plans for the future like communities like this to go out and assist. Uh, wherever there's a need we will come through and assist.